talking about linear programming. We're going to use what we learned in sol solving systems of inequalities, and we're going to apply it to some word problems, OK? So I have one word problem for you. It says, a potter wants to make and sell serving bowls and plates. A bowl uses five pounds of clay, and a plate uses four pounds of clay. The potter has 40 pounds of clay and wants to make at least four bowls. So the first thing you want to do is you want to make sure you choose your variables, and then you write down what they represent. So I'm going to use x and y, and x is going to equal the number of bowls, and y is going to equal the number of plates. And now I'm going to write an equation or an inequality using these variables and the information that I've given you. Okay? And I like to look at the very end to see the amount that I give you, the total amount that I give you. So I tell you that I have a total of 40 pounds of clay to work with. So our first equation is, is 5x plus 4y is less than or equal to 40. Because 5 pounds of clay is used for bowls, 4 pounds is used for clay, and the most that we can use is 40. We need to use 40 or less than that, because we cannot use any more clay, because we don't have any more. Okay? The next one is you want to make at least 4 bowls. So that's going to be x is greater than or equal to 4. So you want to make at least four bowls. And then, lastly, we need to ask, what is the domain for each of the variables? We already have it for x. So now we can think of y. Now, plates, we cannot go in the negative. So we have to say, is y is greater than or equal to 0? And these three inequalities are called the constraints, the constraints of the function. Okay. The next piece is the objective function. I tell you that the profit on a bowl is $35 and the profit on a plate is $30. The potter's total profit P is given by the equation below. So the profit P is equal to 35x plus 30y, 30y and that's the objective function. The objective is to gain profit. So would the potter want to maximize or minimize his profit? Well, of course, he wants to maximize his profit. So what we're going to do is we're going to graph these inequalities and we're going to find out the best combination of bowls and plates to be made to maximize his profit. Okay? And the pro process of minimizing or maximizing a linear objective function subject to constraints that are linear inequalities is called linear programming. So putting all of these pieces together and graph it, graphing it and finding the solution is called linear programming. So let's graph this. Okay, he says, how many bowls and how many plates should the potter make in order to maximize his profit? So we're going to graph the systems of constraints that we've written down. So the first one we're going to do is x is greater than or equal to 4. And I can just do this in the first quadrant. y is greater than or equal to 0. And I'm just going to shade in that same area as the blue. Okay. And the very last one, we have to put into slope-intercept form. So we have 4y is less than or equal to negative 5x plus 40 and divide by 4. So our new inequality is y is less than or equal to negative 5 fourths x plus 10. So we're going to start at 10. Go down 5 over 4. And I'm going to graph that. And then this triangle right in here is going to be our feasible region. Okay? And what we're going to do is we're going to find the vertices on this triangle, or whatever vertices you have for the feasible region, and we're going to write them down because we're going to use those to see the best combination to maximize his profit. So the three vertices we have here is 4, 0, 8, 0, and 4, 5. So we're going to use these to see which one will give us the maximum profit. OK, so it says evaluate the objective function at each vertex of the feasible region to find how many bowls and plates the potter should make to maximize his profit. So we had 4, 0. 8, 0, and 4, 5. And we're going to plug those in to see which one gives us the maximum profit. So P will equal 35 times 4 plus 
30 times 0. It's going to be 140. Then we're going to do 35 times 8 plus 30 times 0. Gives us 280. And this next one is 35 times 4 plus 30 times 5, and that gives us $290. So if we make four bowls and five plates using the amount of clay that we needed, that will maximize our profit. Our maximum profit is $290, so that's the amount of bowls and plates that we want to use, that we want to make.